All right, hey, this is Crank Pace by Bonnie Dustin. Good morning, everybody. Today we're going up uh, this pretty shitty road. Uh, we're at about, I don't know, 1,500 feet right now. Warm, uh, subtropical cloud forest. Uh, you know, we, there's they got the fucking Tillandsias up in the trees, all the epiphytes and shit uh, over there. You know, they've been clearing some of the forest for the coffee and whatnot. You know, they like to grow it in the shade. Over there, you can see they're doing it right there. Uh, right here, we got a... Pretty common species of Melastomataceae. See those fuzzy leaves, the subparallel venation that's so indicative of the family. And of course, you get up close, you look at those damn, uh, those damn anthers, notorious anthers of the Melastomes. But I want to draw your attention over here to something pretty interesting. Okay, this is an epiphytic Gesneriad. Okay, the, the Gesneriaceae, of course, is a you know, very species-rich family in the uh, order of mints, the Lamiales in the Neotropics. But, uh, you know, I've never seen them uh, growing as epiphytes before. This one's even got a little uh, Tillandsia, a little, uh, quote, air plant uh, germinating on it right there. An epiphyte on an epiphyte. There's the flower on this guy. Look at that calyx. Like a little, uh, like spiky little balls. That's a stunner right there. Look at that. Tubular flower. Five fused petals, silver form curl, and of course, like so many Gizneriads, you got those hairs. Opposite leaves and those uh, stiff little hairs all over the all over the goddamn plant. Leaves, stems, everything. That's something else, huh? You got more over here. See these? I think these these haven't gone off yet. It's, uh, it's what you call a banger. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's more of that guy. That kid's near you in. Look at that. What do you think pollinates that? Maybe hummers? With that silver form Corolla? See, they got bananas in there, too. Bananas and coffee. Hold on to this fucking... You can see the, the rock here, the geology is, of course, uh, more of that limestone. For which the Caribbean is so notorious for. With a species of orchid that just... Uh, was laying right there. Who knows what the fuck that is? Put that right there. Hopefully it can uh, keep going. Got the got lycophytes too. Very ancient lineage of uh, vascular plant right there. Perhaps a lycopodiella. You know, so much diversity just on, on the side of the road. Just growing on a on a on a wall right here. Okay, continuing up the mound, we got this interesting uh, composite. You could see a. Uh, those little orange bracts, those are those are the receptacular bracts, the palea, pale. You know, but it's it's hard to tell what's uh, very scabbard leaves, like sandpaper, opposite leaves. It's hard to tell what's planted and what's not because there's so much agriculture around. Got a convolvulus that's probably not native. And then you know you got these, uh, which I thought were that uh, endemic juniper first, uh, but they're not. They're cypresses, and they were probably planted too because there's no record of cypresses being a, a native to the island. So they were probably planted quite a long time ago, it looks like, judging from all the uh, epiphytes on their trunk right there. All the Tillandsias. You got like, uh, like four or five of them. As we continue up, there's just ferns everywhere. Let's step into the fern dungeon really quick. The ground feels so mossy and soft. Just uh, ferns and bromeliads on everything. You can see that. Oh, here's an orchid. What if we could catch it in bloom? Found a fruit on that orchid. Too bad we didn't get a flower, but look at that. All spiky. Nice texture to that. He's just, he's a dangler. He's a dangler. All the trees are just constantly moist. Melastomataceae, you got a palm right there. 
There's a Mellis thumb. Look at that, it's so rich. Got a tree fern, looks like a Cyathea. And then this guy, uh, this guy seems to require a little bit more light. He's a member of the uh, Order of Ginger, the Zingiber Alleys. See, there's the fruits right there. Let's take a look at the flower over here. Yeah, there you go. Look at it. Juicy and very large leaves. Look, the, the leaves even have goddamn uh, bryophytes growing on them. You like the massy mass? Got some wild shit here. Wild, look at it. Oh, it smells pretty good. Now we're getting uh, high enough up, uh, we're getting the uh, Pinus occidentalis. You can see the uh, Caribbean down there. Smells pretty good. Temperature's getting more pleasant. You know, feels less like a sweaty nutsack. There's that uh, Odontosauria with those uh, red stems. You know, this one doesn't have, I'm used to them having spines. Maybe this ain't Odontosauria. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Look at that. And the, uh, the whole damn tree just covered in uh, epiphytes. You got your orchids, got your polypodiales, got a Tillandsia up there. Incredible. Nice five needled pine. One of the white pines. Oh yeah, there you go. There's your there's your vellum and roots. You see that? Like white velvet. Looks like this land might have been cleared at some point. Look, there's these orchids going to fruit. That's nice. Look at that. Look how big that thing is. Here's this monster uh, tongue fern. Oh yeah, I seen this in a on the other side of the mountain, about a day's travel away. Look at those uh, look at those sporangia. Oh, a polka dot. Isn't it nice? Big bastard. Got another melastome. Yeah, there's, there's the cones on that pine. So you get your five needles. Rather small. Got those uh, spiny umbos on each scale. Yeah, well, it's kind of a drag. They've been hacking away at the forest right there. But uh, here we got a uh, another uh, Melastomataceae. Look at those, uh, those stamens just flipped up. And its style is just curving out. Avoiding self-pollination. Look at the ovaries. All hairy, with those stiff little hairs, and then the leaves. You got uh, got a bunch of subparallel veins. It looks like uh, between five to eight. It's the small tree. So many Melastomataceae. There's the uh, mature and ovary. Look at this spiny bastard. More at the evidence of the uh, coevolution with the megafauna. Look, spines all up and down a stem. No flowers. Looks mean. Do you like mean plants? I kind of do. Okay, we're we're high up now. Haven't seen a single person in like an hour. Look at this big bromeliad, giant fucker. Oh, what's going on down there? You got the, uh, you got bromeliads germinating right there on the fruits. These guys are just growing on each other. Look at that. Bunch of them. Bunch of them right there. Usually got a tank. How's the tank look? Got your cyatheas everywhere. You know, it's the, at some point it's going to get too dark to film. 
Look at this guy. Look at that little orchid. We're at about 4,000 feet right now. Beautiful forest. It's so duffy. Like squishy, like stepping on a sponge. So many damn ferns and uh, members of the Orchidaceae. You got your uh, bromeliads too. All kinds of shit. Only seen one mushroom so far. Oh, look at that. There's an orchid. Oh, yeah. Look at his hairs. Is that labellum poking out? This looks like some sort of platanthra or piperia. I don't know. I'm not a fucking orchid guy, you know? I got friends that are. I know guys. I know a guy. See, there's more of them that are into that. But, uh, you know, personally me, I still, I have, I have not entered that field yet. Just fell off. Here's another guy. Different guy right here. Look at that. He's got that purple stem, purple abaxial surface. There's so many goddamn endemic orchids here. Look, there's another one. Look at this. It's, it's, this is fucking wild. You got the red stem. I don't even see any leaves. I guess they're down there somewhere. Oh, yeah. There you go. So this is all preserved. They can't hack this. They just hack the trails. They got a little, they got a lodge down there, but uh, no one's there. Kind of spooky and desolate. Like I said, haven't seen anybody in like an hour. Well, you know, sorry I can't uh, can't be of much help with the identification. <laughs> I don't know what half this shit, I don't know what 90% of this shit is. You know, I can get it down a family, but uh, very rich in biodiverse area. There's another one of those guys. That underside is be Look at it. Oh, shit. Got some earth tongues right there. What? Is, I don't even... What the fuck is it? What is it coming? I don't know. I'm I'm blown away. I got no clue what's going on. You know, I'm all I'm all fucked up. Wild. They got a bird here called a Rufus throated solitaire, and it sounds like that that kind of rusty playground swing from the '80s, or playground uh, merry-go-round. You know, you know back when uh playgrounds were fun when I had the really dangerous stuff. Look, this fucking orchid. I thought it was terrestrial. He's not. He's growing out. He's growing as an epiphyte. Too. Just grow, you know. The fungal diversity here is probably true to roof. Look, we got a tongue fern over here. So yeah, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, I could sink you, I guess. We could. What do you want to do? I can't tell you what any of this shit is. Oh yeah. Look at it. Look at the scales on its stem. Ah. Oh damn. We got it. We got an orchid blooming. We got an epiphyte blooming. Look at those bright red. Little flags. Wonder what uh, wonder what pollinates those. Wonder if they do a nectar reward or if they're just uh, fooling the pollinators or what. Yeah, I can't even. I can't get up there. I'll slip and break my ass. Look at it though. So much diversity here. So rich. Look, you got ferns growing on ferns. What's the world coming to? Okay, we got it down to order at least. It's a mistletoe, order Santa Lely's. Can't tell if it's a foradendron or a member of the Laurentaceae. So segmented stems. So he's producing his own chlorophyll. I bet he's tapping into this guy too. Oh look, it looks like a blue elaphoglossum. Might not even be an elaphoglossum though. A lot of ferns look similar, even though they're unrelated. You got an orchid there. Got another orchid right there. Talansia, another orchid right there. So much goddamn diversity on one single tree branch. 
Got those uh, epiphytic gazneriads up there. More orchids. Spiny bullshit looks like a fern. It's a spiny fern. No, you know what? It ain't. Nah, I can't tell. I can't even tell what the fuck half this stuff is. Look at there's a piperaceae with those little rad shaped flowers like a rad. Okay, so this episode is just going to be eye candy. I think it's just going to be eye candy. That's nice. Look at that whole hillside. How many how many uh, species of plants you think are just in that field of view right there? Oh, here's a magnolia. Holy shit. That's a steep. Uh, you got to be careful. That's a steep fall. Here's a magnolia species. Look at that. Oh, look. Here's that red bastard that uh, was 20 feet above me that I couldn't get to. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. God damn. It's just so much diversity. This almost looks like a composite. But, you know, with no flowers, hard to tell. Who's this guy? Money shots. There you go. I opened one up for you. He didn't want to open. I just, uh, you know, I just peeled back those uh, tepals a little bit. Just give you a good uh, full frontal. You could see uh, flowers about 10 millimeters across. It's peeled that tepal back again. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, here's that damn uh, fabulous lobelia again. Lobelia rotundifolia. Look at that thing. Look at it. Little blue anther tube. What a stunner. Even the leaves are pretty. Here's one that hasn't flowered yet. Campanulaceae. See, look at the abaxial surfaces on this one. I noticed that, I've seen this on the other side of the mountain, I noticed the same thing. They don't always uh, have that uh, beautiful uh, red hue to the undersides. And then see, when they're done, they just dehiss and split open and drop all their tiny seeds out. It's one of the most beautiful lobelias I've seen, I think. Look at it. So this is this is probably the type of habitat, the type of forest where the Selenodon lives. That the ancient lineage of mammal bring us back to our roots. What kinds of wild shit? Here's a member of the uh, Sapotaceae. You know they got a bunch of melastomes. They got everything. It's at a forest primeval, my friend. Look at that. Looking beneath it all, you got that uh, chalky white limestone. You know, I'm I'm fucking wiped out. I'm so tired. Haven't been sleeping well. Haven't been eating well. Oh, look at this. You got a guy right there. Look at that. Did you see that? It's like a little anole. What's it doing over there? Making that noise, you think, frogs? Got a rubiaceous bastard. Oh, yeah. You 
see you got the pines too see the pines see the road's kind of fucked up that's why you need the four low you got to put it in four low i didn't think i you know i didn't think i was gonna but i had to i had to put it in the four low you know it's like uh it, it's kind of like uh it's like the gear ratio like a riding lawnmower you know but i wouldn't know because i fucking hate lawns and i you know refuse to ever have one but you definitely got to use the four low right there Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Hey, look, this grass is native, but it, it don't act like it. It just kind of, see, it just kind of takes over. It's, uh, it's very aggressive. Look at how dark it just, the light just, you know, all of a sudden you're, it's like you're in a dark room. Vines and shit everywhere. I bet there'd be some cool Bolano foracea, you know? You came at the right time. You catch one flowering. I think they got one or two here, don't they? Like tropical parasites. Bright colors just poking out the ground like a little bright uh, yellow, pink, or purple cone. Yeah, see, I was, was going to leave the truck running because I like huffing the fumes, you know? The diesel, uh, the smell of diesel. Kind of makes me gag, but also reminds me of my childhood a little bit. Look at this big leaf bastard. And see, they got, they got the fog coming in, but, uh, you know, you're going to be fine because you get the four low. Just put it in four low. Everything could be all drippy, wet and shit. And you just, you know, you'd be fine. Put it in four low and just fucking cruise on down, you know, second, third gear. Glycini AC is that fern family right there. Sharp bastard. Saw this, saw this family in New Caledonia, dude. Oh, this one's kind of soft, though. The one I seen in uh, New Caledonia was uh, a lot meaner. See, and, and every day around, you know, 3 or 4 p.m., the fag comes in. That's why they call it the Bosque de Niebla. See how foggy it is? Look at this Fabid. I've seen another species. I, I'm assuming it's the same genus because they look almost like a fuchsia, but it's an obvious pea. They got the pinnate leaves. Calyx is all right. And the, the fruits, of course, are a legume. And they got the 10 stamens. But I've seen another species in this genus, and it turned out to be uh, endemic to Haiti. And I think it was the first recording at least on iNaturalist which isn't saying much of that uh, of that plant in the Dominican Republic I fucking love the Dominicans man they're so, they're fucking great you know you see, they're, they're friendly as shit no one's giving me any fucking trouble no one's you know people look a little sketched out by me at times but uh you know anyway <clears throat> reminds me of living in New York like I said anyway there's the fruit you know I touched some uh I touched some plant that's giving me a, a rash. It looks like a Eurasial rash. I bet it was some kind of sumac up there in the cloud forest. There's that Bauhinia again. Get some flowers on that guy. Anyway, there you go. Endemic peas of Hispaniola. Yeah, see, there you go. Foboidea subfamily. Nine stamens fused together, and then one free, and then you got that style. See that red style with the green ovary on her? That's a nice money shot. It gets you in trouble if you bring it to work, though. Work or school. Don't do that. Don't bring it to work or school. Okay, and then speaking of fabids, here's one that'll really get you in trouble. You bring this to school, okay? And that'd be, that'd be because it looks like a veg, okay? Central Sema virginianum. Little vine. Look, your Foboidea subfamily got leaflets of three, okay? It's a... Uh, but see this one, normally that okay. The big part, what looks what looks like, what looks like uh you know the vulva, what really looks like the vulva. It, it's that's the posterior petal that's normally inverted, okay. So this is a resupinate flower, okay. Normally that that's the uh, that's the banner, and it's you know so normally you know like on most peas they're like this, but on this one and the one clitoria too, they're resupinate. They flip over and then the, the keels up top. And it's what looks like the, you know what, oh look, there's the ovary, the green little bean right there. Oh, the guys are coming down there. So, okay, anyway. There's the calyx, all right, but I mean, it's, it's you know, don't, don't do it. Just, I know you want to do it, you want to take pictures, show your free, don't do it. Don't, it's going to get you in trouble, okay. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful flower, though. Uh, quite widespread. There's the uh, there's the little bean pad. 
okay? And they're just draping, you know, we're down, we're down low again. Out of the, out of the, uh, uh, Bosque, uh, Dana Ibla. And, uh, oh, this is a piper right here, too. Got a little, like, it uh, looks like a little wand when it's flowering. Anyway, there you go. Cent Centrosema, Virginia ain't them. Oh, see, see, that, that's where the forest went. <laughs> Shouldn't be clear like that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, you know. Tiny orchids everywhere. Anyway, I was just saying I'm wiped out. You know, I got... <laughs> I think I got... You know, I just burn myself out, which is good to do sometimes, but not a lot. Here's that the melastom again. Fucking wiped out. Oh, my God. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Sorry to say this episode wasn't too lively. You know, hopefully you get some out of it, though. All right, well, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, have a nice evening. Go fuck yourself. Bye.